the past and we apply those learnings to the present and to the future. Um, the industry today, I believe, is safer than it was 33 years ago, certainly. Our fatality rates or deaths on the job are, are down in comparison to years ago. Our injury rates are down in comparison to years ago, and that's all good news, but those are statistics. Uh, one death is one too many, so we continue to focus on construction industry and all industries to prevent injuries and illness from occurring. Today's construction program projects represent great progress but often progress can come at too great a cost. We've made significant advances over the years to improve safety in the workplace, but I know that we all agree that even one life lost as a result of a work-related accident or disease is unacceptable. We've learned from that event, and again, it's about applying those learnings. I touch wood that it won't happen again, and it's a bit of a cliche, but uh, certainly uh, 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 there are still uh, too many fatalities and too many deaths occurring on work sites in this province, uh, about three a week, and we need to continue to be vigilant to try to um, ensure that we can do everything we can to prevent those from happening. I believe it is possible to get them down to zero, absolutely. I, I think that, uh, again, it's a shared responsibility. Uh, people have choices in what they do, whether it's the worker, whether it's the employer. We try to ensure that they make the right choices and the safe choices that are required by the regulation in the Act. Building a safe workplace is, is a partnership project. It can't be done by any one player in the workplace. The employers need to be involved. There needs to be, as has been said, good solid regulations and appropriate enforcement. And I think it's also crucial to remember that the workers need to have a voice in that process and be able to take steps to protect themselves and to learn and to, and to ensure that the rules are in place for them. There are a number of things that can be done to uh, lessen the, uh, the number of incidents that take place uh, on an annual basis. Um, First off, we could start with training. Uh, construction workers work in an ever-changing environment, and it's vitally important that they know what kind of environment they're working in uh, that, that's trade-specific so that uh, they can work safely, uh, not only with the tools of the job, but also the environment. Uh, that's number one. The second is that we need uh, more inspections. I mean, there are contractors out there who will, uh, for the sake of greed, sacrifice safety and that just has to be stopped. Uh, it is a dangerous industry for, for people to work in and for those who will um, cut corners on safety, it's unacceptable. It's just completely unacceptable. So we need more, more inspections on, on work sites uh, throughout the province. The third thing that uh, needs to be done is, um, along with the inspections, we heard today of, of, the one per, of the one individual who had an asbestos removal company uh, exposing workers and being written up 300 times. We have to have better enforcement. Um, you know, if, if a company is allowed to do that time and time and time again, uh, it's, he's not providing a service to anybody. He's only providing a slow and miserable death for some people. So there have to be laws in place and enforcement that's going to uh, ensure that those kinds of contractors are taken out of the industry completely. They have no place in our industry at all.